Wow, one pass. I'm ready to go with my second pass. So we need to take our clamps off, which means release the quilt from the frame. Put that back in there. Release it here. And now I want to start back on the left side of the quilt. So I'm going to do the same thing again. Move, shift the quilt down. And I can shift that under the needle there. But I need to now move it forward. So I'm going to go ahead and put that clamp in and lock it into place on this bar. Give myself enough throat space. Now, I need to put a clamp here, but I, here's my quilting area. So I need to pull that forward. I can see that I've got enough space there because I kind of interlocked it. Put my first clamp on, making sure I have enough space on this side and place that clamp straight up there, okay? I can go ahead and pull this quilt and down. Pull it up as high as I can get it so that I can get to my stitching. Clamp that in and tighten it up. Now with my clamps, I can go ahead and tension those up. And I can put one clamp right here. And then tension this over here. And then my next clamp I can put right here. But the one thing that I do want to do is I've got this quilt flapping in the way. So I need to figure out what to do with that. I've got clamps for that. I've got what we call C clamps. So I'm going to go ahead and roll that on there. And I can go ahead and tension that on to the quilt. And that manages the quilt up there so that now I can start stitching again. Okay, we're not done. We've got some more to teach you today. So I can feel there's a bump here. And as I, want to, as I quilt, I feel that, and I don't want that. I need this to have a smooth flow. Let me show you what you don't do. First of all, it came with three more clamps. So when there's just a small amount of quilt here, rather than put these large quilt clamps on, and it's bumping, that's where it's bumping, we are going to use the small clamps. So when I use this small clamp and clamp it to the pole, it won't bump against the throat of the machine. So we'll take this off. So when your quilt gets to the bottom, that's when you want to use these because then it'll roll around a lot of quilt. But for these small ones, this is going to manage this right all the way. I think we'll put this one right here between those two clamps. That manages that and it's not going to hit the throat space of your machine. Now it's time to quilt. So go ahead and move our big clamps and take that one off because I don't think I'm going to need it and we're ready to go. Let's quilt!